everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So, I'm sure you can tell by the scene that's set up, it's time for another craft video. So today we're going to be making a really cute card. It's going to be a thank you card and this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. So, the paper that I'm using is the Martha Stewart Craft Paper Pack. It is really awesome. I got it from Joann's and I love the colors. I mean, the paper is beautiful. It's all two-sided paper, which I love because then you have so many different options. If you don't like one side of the paper, there's always the second side that you can choose from. I'm basically going to be working though with this really pretty circular paper. Um, with the circles, I'm going to be using some buttons and I just want to show you though some other papers that come with this set are presents. And I love that because you can make some really cute birthday cards. So this paper pack is an, it's called an essentials paper pad and it is the birthday set from Martha Stewart Crafts. So let's get started. I have all of my papers pre-cut. I'll put the in the description down below all of the measurements of the papers I used and I'll include the name of the paper pack I used as well. Today I'm going to be working with buttons and this is called Baker's Thread or Baker's Twine. I buy it mostly for my tags. I love using this at Christmas time. Um, I have it in brown and white, pink and white, red and white, and black and white. And it's really, really cute. It's just little teeny tiny stripes of the white or the off-white and then the color that you chose. So today I'm going to be working with the red and white and it goes with my paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white cardstock and I'm going to fold it in half so that I have a perfect card base. Once again, I'm going to be using my Elmer's purple glue that dries invisible. Um, like I've told you before, I love it because when you put it on the back of the paper that you're gluing, it's purple. So you can see exactly where you have glue on your paper, but then as soon as it dries, it dries clear. So you can't see the purple or where you have any glue. So my base is going to just be a yellow piece of cardstock that's going to fit perfectly over the size of my card front. Just like that. So I'm going to glue the base down first. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a clear stamp that says so thankful for you and I have it on my plastic block. You can buy these blocks at Walmart, you can get them at uh, Michael's, you can get them at Joann's, they have them everywhere, they're fairly inexpensive and I love these little clear stamp packs. This one that I'm using has a flower in it as well. Um, I have another set here that says Delight in the Little Things and it has a really pretty flower. These stamp packs are $1 at Joann's. It's really awesome. It's a great deal and they're really, really cute. They work really well. The reason that I like the clear stamps is because you put them on a clear block and you can see right through so your placement is perfect you know exactly where it's going on your project. That's the difference with the wood blocks. It's very difficult to see where you're stamping because this is wood and you can't see through it. So as you can see, I stamped so thankful for you in the bottom right hand corner of my card. The next thing I'm going to take is my pink shimmery piece of paper. It also came from my Martha Stewart birthday pack and I'm going to put some glue on it and put it right across the middle of my card above my stamped So Thankful For You. And it's just going to go right across the middle just like that. The next step is my really pretty circular paper that I was showing you before. I've cut a strip of that and that is going to be centered in the pink piece just like that. So let's glue it down. The reason I really like this paper 
is with the circles you can do so many different things. I'm going to be using buttons today, but you can use anything you'd like. You can use um, glitter on them, you can use uh, jewels on them, and really make your card pop. So I'm using two buttons. I'm using a larger button and a smaller button just for some dimension. And for the larger button, I'm going to use my twine and I'm gonna go down one buttonhole and up the next. And I'm gonna pull them even and I'm going to make a bow. So as you can see in my sample, there's a bow right in the middle of the largest button. So I'm gonna do that here and I'm just gonna tie this in a bow. I'm gonna tie the bow before I glue it on because sometimes when you're working with twine, it's just so small and thin, you never really know exactly what direction your bow is gonna end up facing and then you can glue your button on the way you'd like. All right, so to glue on my buttons, I'm going to use glue dots. If you've never used glue dots before, they are awesome. You can get them anywhere. I believe I bought these at Walmart. They come in these perforated pieces and you just break them apart so that you can just use one little glue dot at a time. You peel the clear backing off and you can see the glue dot on it. I'm gonna put it on the back of my button, take off the clear um, sheet, and I'm gonna stick it right down. It's awesome because it's instant hold. Obviously this is a heavy button, it's not just a small piece of paper and it holds just fine. I'm gonna use another one on my small yellow button I have here. And I am just randomly putting these little buttons in the middle of circles. You can choose to put them inside whatever circles you'd like. You can even use more buttons if you want more buttons on your card. I chose two just because I thought that that was really, really cute. So, I hope you enjoyed my video today. I'm gonna to put the description of the paper I used down below. I'm also going to put all of the dimensions down below of the papers so that you can make these as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a totally awesome day. Keep watching my craft videos. I have some really cool things coming out soon and I look forward to seeing you. Bye!